Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about a newly discovered giant comet that's plunging towards the solar system right now as I do this video. It's got a long ways to go, but it is coming and it's one of the biggest ever found. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. We're going to start over here in Clarkston, Washington with a photo that was taken and sent in by Chuck. This is from a few days back and it's of an albino ring in the sky. That's what I call these. We see big jumbo halos in the sky around the sun, or at least in the proximity of the sun, that usually contain color. This one is not your typical halo. It's all white. He thinks this thing may have been formed by some sort of a craft. I don't know. It's definitely a white circle in the sky, and the sun is very low on the horizon. Typically when we see these, and we have seen them in the past, the sun's very high, and they're in conjunction with a color colorful big halo. Don't know what this is. Kind of rare. Have never seen anything quite like that. Photo once again taken by Chuck out of Clarkston, Washington. Since we're here at the website, we'll take a quick look at the Schumann Resonance. Right now everything's pretty quiet. A little bit of background noise. Did have a couple of spikes about 48 hours ago, but nothing since. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. They look about the same as they have for the last several weeks. In fact, the last several months. Haven't absence of data here at Borehole, right in the center of Yellowstone Lake, or at least in the eastern part of Yellowstone Lake. No large earthquake signatures. Have a few small ones here and there along the northern rim. But all in all, everything's pretty quiet for the most part at the supervolcano Caldera. Looking at the Sahara sand, making the transatlantic journey across the Atlantic Ocean from West Africa over into the Caribbean and towards North America. Right now, it's pretty calm. There is some sand sand out there, but I do think a storm could form if one were to generate out there in the main development region. So we'll be keeping a close eye on this area. Looking at Lake Mead, we've been keeping a close eye on this since we've now entered record territory, and Lake Mead is the primary water source for millions of people downstream. Right now, we are officially in new record territory at 1,069 feet. That record was set on Wednesday, June 23rd of 2021. That was actually set yesterday. I'm sure today's measurement at Lake Mead could also be yet another record as Lake Mead continues to get lower and lower. Coming back now to the huge comet discovery over here at spaceweather.com. Featured story dated June 23rd of 2021. Astronomers have just discovered a comet so big it might actually be a minor planet. Say what? This object is named 2014 UN271. Astronomers Pedro Bernadelli and Gary Bernstein found it in archival images from the Dark Energy Survey. It appears to be about 100 kilometers wide. That would be around 62 miles wide. Two or three times larger than record-breaking Comet hale -Bopp. Although 2014 UN271 is falling towards the sun, we may never see it with our naked eye. At close approach, in early 2031, the behemoth comet will be just outside the orbit of Saturn. And I do have the orbital diagram up for that comet right now. Here it is over at the NASA JPL. See 2014. Here's the comet coming in from the south. See how it's coming up under the solar system? It's not going to be up here at the ecliptic plane until around 2031, 2032. It's a very slow moving comet. In fact, I'll show you how slow it's moving. I'll put this thing on a week interval. Watch this, one week at a time. See how slow it's going? Right now we are at 2024. 2025. It's still well below the ecliptic plane, slowly making its way up towards the ecliptic. 2030, 2031. And you can see here by June of 2033, that would be around 12 years from now, this thing will finally be up here above the ecliptic, just beyond the orbit of Saturn, which would make it a little difficult to see. It's not going to be, at least at this point, problematic to planet Earth. In fact, there's talk of trying to build a craft to go intercept this comet and study it as it's making its way towards the solar system. According to this report, they're already detecting signs of outgassing 
Kind of like what you see here in this animation of a very large comet. If that is the case, then things may change with regard to visibility. It may get brighter, especially if it starts reacting to the solar wind. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. It's not every day that you hear about a comet 62 miles wide plunging towards the solar system. It's slowly but surely making its way towards our little corner of the universe, and a lot could happen between now and then. And you never know, this thing may not be traveling alone. After all, it is 62 miles wide. You can find the link to the story down below in the description box over here at spaceweather.com. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Brooke, not exactly sure of the location, but a very ominous looking sky. I've seen these once before where it looked like the Eye of Horus up in the sky. Chris out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Very colorful clouds just hanging around above Las Vegas all by themselves. Not part of a bigger rainbow. Piz out of Denmark. Some incredible photos of the sun as it was getting ready to set for the day casting big beams out in all directions. And here's some colorful clouds over there in the proximity of the sun. Fred out of Vestal, New York. Looks like a big portal over there in the sky. Huge double-decker rainbow. Jessica V out of Garfield, Kentucky. Fiery orange sky at sunset. And then she noticed this big shelf cloud, or at least that's what it looks like, way off in the distance, much like Lena's off the coast of Ireland, who noticed a pink roll cloud or shelf cloud way off in the distance. Rosa M. sent in this video. Not exactly sure how to interpret it. Neither was she. She just started filming this thing as it looked out of place in the evening sky. Looks like something glowing over there. Doesn't really have a recognizable shape. Just some sort of a weird object hanging around in the sky that once again was unidentifiable. Now we're going over to Hartlepool, United Kingdom. Photos sent in by, by Deborah of, yet again, more fiery orange skies at either sunrise or sunset. And then this incredible close-up of the moon and some of its craters. That would be a half moon. Hennig K. out of Texas sent in these photos of some ominous skies. Very low to the ground. Look how low those clouds were above Texas as Hennig was driving his big rig through the great state of Texas. Daniel out of Peyton, Colorado. What you're looking at here is over three inches of hail that accumulated during one hailstorm. This goes back a few days, but I wanted to share the video as that much hail is kind of rare. It almost looked like snow on the ground. Hail once again out of Peyton, Colorado. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you guys all for the pictures. Keep them coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.